Good day guys, Darian Giuseppe here, back again with another video for the Key Concept series. In today's video, what we are going to look at is the solutions to a past paper question on McLaren series expansion. McLaren series expansion shows up in module 2 of Pure Math Unit 2. So, be mindful of that. And with that said, let's get straight into the question. So, we have a function is defined as g of x is equal to e to the 3x plus 1. The first part of this question is asking us to obtain the McLaurin series expansion for g of x up to and including the term in x to the power of 4. So, from the time you think McLaurin series expansion, what should come to mind is this formula here g of x is equal to g of 0 plus x by g prime of 0 plus x squared on 2 factorial by g double prime of 0 plus x cube on 3 factorial by g triple prime of 0 plus am I missing anything? No, I'm not. x to the fourth on 4 factorial by g, the 4 derivative of um, g of 0 plus dot dot dot. Right, the series goes on to infinity. We know this. This is the formula that should be coming to your mind when you see McLaurin series expansion. It is a special type of Taylor series centered at 0. And so that's the formula. We should know the formula. Right, make sure that's what coming to mind. The next thing, or the first thing I do with a McLaurin series um, expansion type question is I put down the function. And what, I want, what I'm trying to figure out is how much times I have to differentiate this. Because you notice um, in the formula, you have a few differentials, right? But it goes on to infinity. So how do we know when to stop? This tells you when to stop. This is up to and including the term in x to the power of four. Four, sorry. So therefore, we would have to, um, yeah, differentiate four times the function g of x. So let us do that, right? Let's start there. I think and that is where we could start. So let me just take this off and let's see how we can start, guys. Right. So. My first thing, as I said before, is to put down the function and start to differentiate. Once I could differentiate, I could then um, find the value of 0 for all my differentials and substitute it into the McLaurin series expansion. So the first thing, put down the function. Let's find the first derivative. The first derivative of g of x, which is e to the 3x plus 1, is... Right, the differential of e to the 3x plus 1 is e to the 3x plus 1, but then you have to multiply by the derivative of 3x plus 1, which is 3. So therefore, the first derivative is actually 3 by e to the 3x plus 1. The, we then have to find the second derivative of g of x. The second derivative would be um, the derivative of this entire thing is actually 3 by e to the 3x plus 1, but then you have to multiply by the derivative of 3x plus 1, right? This is basically chain rule being employed here, and you would get 9, right, by e to the 3x plus 1. And again, you go again for the third derivative. The derivative of this is 9 e to the 3x plus 1, but you have to remember to multiply by the derivative of this, which would give you 3 by the 9, which is 27, e to the 3x plus 1, so that's your third derivative, then your fourth derivative would be given by 81 e to the 3x plus 1, because again, the derivative of this is 27 e to the 3x plus 1, but then you have to remember to multiply by, right, the derivative of this function, 3x plus 1, which is 3, and the 3 would multiply by the 27 to give you 81, and that is basically the rundown on the derivatives that we need to find we then need to substitute zero right for x in each one of the derivatives and even the initial function so what we will get g of zero is actually just e to the one the one is understood right so just note that and then the first derivative when we put in zero into the first derivative you'll get 3e the second derivative you would get 
9e third derivative you will get 27e and the fourth derivative of g when you plug in zero you will get 81 e right so the derivative was 27 e right i don't know if i mentioned that right so we have all our derivatives as you can see here and we plugged in zero into our derivative so that is great what we need to do now right is substitute these guys here into the mclaurin series expansion so let's apply the mclaurin series expansion and we know what we're going to use let's write down the formula right in the key in this case we're using g of x sometimes it could be f of x just remember to utilize the function that is being used in the question so this is our formula here that we're going to use and all we need to do is take this value here and substitute it where we have g of zero we have g prime of zero substitute 3e and so on we're just substituting these guys right into the respective spaces and you just work them work each one out afterwards and right, let's substitute so this is what you will have happening here make your substitution looks pretty good and we could just what if you notice all the terms have e in them e to the one e to the power of one so we could actually just simplify this entire thing by factorizing out the e and that would give us a nice little final solution there to this question right so this would be our solution right this would be the mclaurin series of g of x up to and including the term in x to the power of four that is basically it so that is part one they also asked us um or they there's also a part two and in part two they asked hence state g of 0 0.2 correct to three decimal places so with a question like this the hence is very important here hence means use the information from the previous part which is part one um they say estimate g of 0 0.2 and they say estimated right so we have to use the mclaurin series expansion this expansion here right to estimate g of 0 0.2 you cannot just take 0 0.2 and plug it into here right that would be given like almost the exact answer and you wouldn't get any marks for that the the hence here is basically where they're saying use the mclaurin series expansion to estimate 0. Point, um, or g of 0. 0.2 so we need to use the mclaurin series expansion to get our marks so what I would do basically here is wherever I had x, I would substitute because g of x is equal to this thing here. All I have to do is substitute 0 0.2 here for x, substitute it here, substitute it here, and substitute it here, and also substitute it here. And then just plug that into my calculator and I should get an estimate for g of 0 0.2. That is basically what we need to do. And that is where you use the information, right, from the previous question. That is a hence moment. I like to call it the hence moment. So let's look at it here. Right, this is part two. G of 0 0.2, right, this is your hence moment here. You're taking the 0 0.2 and you're plugging it into the McLaren series expansion for G of X up to and including um, the term in X to the power of 4. So wherever we have x we substitute in 0 0.2 right in the mclaurin series expansion and this is a hence moment this is a hence moment where you use the information from the previous part to get the answer that the question is asking you in the current part that you're in and then you just substitute this into your, i mean plug everything into your calculator and everything should just boil down to 4.951 character three decimal places remember that's what the question asked for right the estimate and i like to put the squiggly line because it is an estimate is not the exact value and that's it there right so these two things are our solutions for part one and part two right of this question guys i hope you all understood this one 
I hope it helped. Feel free to share it to a friend that you believe it will help as well. Um, and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video.